The next event on the program here at the Arena Pro Swim Series from Orlando is the women's 100-meter backstroke. Gemma Spofforth from Great Britain, the world record holder, 58.12, set back at the World Championships in 2009. The American record, Missy Franklin at 58.33. Your top eight qualifiers have made it here in lane number one. Maddie Hess just off a personal best this morning, and interestingly enough, the only American in this field. Next to her in lane number two, Representing the Pacific Sea Wolves Swim Club, Hillary Caldwell, bronze at the 2013 World Championships in the 200 back. Simona Bomertova from the Czech Republic, a semifinalist in 2012 in this event. Mia Nielsen, the top qualifier in lane at number four, just broke the world record in short course meters when she led off the 4x100 medley re relay in Doha. That was back in December. The second best qualifier, about a tenth back, is Dominique Bouchard. Lane six, occupied by Lauren Quigley from Great Britain, also a semifinalist at the World Championships. Our last two qualifiers in lane number seven, Danielle Hannes, 16 years old from Canada. And rounding out the field in lane number eight, another swimmer from Great Britain, 17-year-old Charlotte Evans. Lee Nelson has been very good over a long career. I say long career, only 18 years of age. She seems, <laughs> that, although she seems like she's been around a long time, sort of like a Missy Franklin. You look at Missy Franklin, it's hard to believe she's only 19. Like the 53 in the backstroke, the start ever so critical. Very interesting, Rowdy, in what seems like should be something universal, the different ways of doing a backstroke start. It is, because most swimmers will come up and then just kind of stay, stay just tight enough to be able to get enough of a spring off the block. Most, but some of them come a little bit higher. Now, I talked to Matt Grievers, who's coming up in the 100 back in just a few minutes, and he said he had a little bit of a slippage problem this morning. So it's not so much he slipped off the, uh, off the um, touch pads. It was the pads came up a little bit, so they fixed that. 29.52, Mia Nielsen, the top qualifier, is also first in the final. She's about a tenth faster than she was this morning. And she was very quick, 008, but Bashard right below her in lane number five was 009. Only 11 hundredths of a second separated them in the morning. And right now you've got three swimmers right there in the middle of the pool. Bart Matova is also right there. It looks as though Bouchard might have a little bit extra if she lunges for the wall, and she's done it. No, it's a tie! Oh, look at that! One minute, point five five, a dead heat for the gold between Mia Nielsen from Denmark and Dominique Bouchard, the Canadian. I, I thought you were right, Craig. I thought Bouchard had her at the end. It just seemed like she had just enough to get into the wall, but those great long arms of Nielsen got her in to get the tie. You don't see that often in swimming, especially for the gold medal. But now we have gold. I've seen it a couple times in the Olympic Games, dating back to 84 when they tied for gold in the 100 freestyle. And then Anthony Irvin tied with Gary Hall in the 50 free back in Sydney. Bouchard on the left, Nielsen on the right. Watch them. They look like synchronized swimmers. Stroke for stroke, dead heat and into the wall. And what's incredible about that, mirror images, they each touch with a different arm. Look at that. But, I mean, they're perfectly in sync different arms but still in sync as they go in the wall it's so <laughs> rare to see that and they both had the exact same touch beautiful swim for both like finding two four-leaf clovers next to each other it rarely happens but when it does it is definitely special dual winners in the women's 100 meter backstroke mia nielsen and dominique Bouchard. When we come back, it's the defending Olympic champion, Matt Grievers, who's done very well so far this season, looking to keep his gold medal run continuing.